yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemetheus, a.k.a. Right Hand of Zeus. And yes, happy goddamn Monday. And I hope this video finds everybody in great health. And hopefully y'all had a fantastic weekend. My weekend I was working. But I'm still here. We're going to get into this gaming news. I got some Switch news for you. I got some, maybe some Scorpio news for you. I got some Nintendo Switch news for you. I got some unboxing news for you. Damn, I'm just full of news today. We're going to jump right into this. First thing I'm going to talk about is NBA 2K17 online servers. They full of shit. There's thousands of people out here can't connect to the game. Games are being dropped. Lost migration to host. Yo, there's so many issues with NBA 2K17 online. And then when you go to their website, it says PSN is running, Xbox Live is running, Steam is running. Yeah, for some people. But when you put the error code into the code, the area where it says enter the code that you received to say the error, it says this code has been used already. 2K, man. Ronnie 2K, specifically. Let me just jump into your ass real quick. Y'all making hellified mountains of money with NBA 2K series. You have no competition out there in the market for the NBA 2K series. We're not going to even bring live into this because that shit is a joke. But I'm going to tell you one thing about live. Live runs fine online. Don't. It, the game can't compete with NBA 2K in no fashion. But it runs good online. 2K is horrible online. You guys at the 2K studios, man, y'all should be using dedicated servers. It ain't like y'all don't have the money. It ain't like Microsoft don't owe off of the Zuri service to you, you should be using dedicated servers. I'm tired of having problems connecting for years. Now I can't even sign online. I got a call from, from my boy, manager at GameStop. They're calling me to see how to fix the problems with people signing in. General conversation, dudes are walking by. Yo, 2K servers are garbage. Garbage. A lot of games this holiday season didn't sell. I think y'all need your community to slap you in your mouth because y'all too stuck on yourself. Y'all conceited. Y'all too confident. Y'all know ain't no competition out there. Y'all figuring like EA did with Madden. But when Madden sales slipped, EA stepped up on Madden and made Madden a, be Madden a better game without fear of competition. I think come September... People need to fall back on a little bit of 2K sales to give y'all a slap in the mouth because 2K every year comes out broken. This year started off fine. Now that more and more people own it, I can't even sign online? That's some bullshit. Now let's get into some better gaming news. Ronnie 2K, you need to get on your job. And you gave my boy at that GameStop Managers convention a bullshit excuse why y'all not using Dedicated service. Y'all get the fucking donkey of the day. Yes, you do. I ain't gonna give you sound effect because I'm being cheap with your ass. Like y'all being cheap with them good servers. Now, Shadow of Mordor is getting a sequel called Shadow of War. It is officially announced to be coming out August 22nd. Yes, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 Pro, and this is the first game announced for Project Scorpio officially. So we're going to see the Pro Edition and the Scorpio Edition at the same damn time, hopefully. But this is the first official game announced for that Scorpio. We'll see what comes out of that June 11, 11th press conference from Microsoft. But right now, Shadow of War. 
is the first announced Scorpio game. There you have it. Now, in other news, Twitch will start selling games. Now, this is crazy. Twitch is officially owned by Amazon. So when the streamer is streaming a Halo Wars 2, Horizon Zero Dawn, there will be a button that you can click to buy this game now. Now, what's good is the Twitch streamers game through their stream. I think that's dope because it takes a lot of time and effort to be streaming out your life and to get a little payback for helping out or streaming a game that you like to the masses and you can get a little credit off of it. Twitch, that's a good idea. And it's called Twitch Go Get It Now. That's pretty dope. You ain't got to pay nothing extra being that I guess you... Amazon own, owns it. You click the link. I guess Amazon's going to ship it to you when you pay for it. But that the, I thought that was dope. Now, the PlayStation VR game, Farpoint, it's a 3D shooter. Looks pretty decent. Comes out May 16th. It, it's officially announced. Also, PlayStation VR sales have hit a million worldwide. Now, that is fantastic news. Now, if they only can put out more titles for it or more announced titles, hopefully when E3 comes, they got at least 15, 20 in the making, man, because if you're going to sell a million units on top of the 50, 50 million PlayStations out there, they can keep up that momentum. That would be a good look. That is the most sold VR headset. It's not the best, but it is the most sold. So... These developers need to get off their behinds and start putting out full games for the PlayStation VR because people obviously bought it. It's slow sales, but they did buy it. So y'all need to get out there and make a full investment on these PlayStation games. Now, Mass Effect Andromeda PC Specs, PC specs have been announced. I'm going to put the link down in the description and... Look forward to that. That is definitely, um, you're going to need a beefed up PC to run Andromeda. they asking for, recommended is a GTX 1060. So <laughs> that's recommended, not minimum, but I'm going to put the links down in the description. Now, Halo 6 is supposedly going to fix something that was wrong with Halo 5. Now, I don't know who out there still plays elbow to elbow on the couch and play split screen but halo 6 and all the halos after this will have split screen in every halo game that was a big community um request and microsoft heard you and this is what they're doing halo 6 and and beyond will all have split screen multiplayer that you can play i think also you can go online at the same time now I got some good news for that Switch launch. When I was at the show, they had something called Snipper Clips, Fast RMX, and Shovel Knight. They had all of them at that Switch event. I played all of them. That Fast RMX reminds me of F-Zero. Snipper Clips is a puzzle game, multiplayer, one through four. You, you cutting pieces out of these. It's a puzzle game. It's a party game. It looks pretty good. And Shovel Knight. We all know what Shovel Knight is. All three games was listed at $19.99 and added to the five games that was currently coming out for the Switch. These three games will be available also as launch titles. So that's a total of eight titles. I'm thinking about picking up and streaming the Fast RMX. It looks pretty good. So I might be checking that out. That's for you Switch fans out there. Or that's some people who are going to be online for Switches. Now, I have some other news about Switch. It is said that the pre-orders are filled for the Nintendo Switch. But they will have a few extra systems per GameStop. So I would get there first, camp out, see how many they got extra. Those people who want the Switch that didn't pre-order, you can possibly get one. This is why when your boy Lemon says, go out there and get them pre-orders, this is the day you pre-order. If you wanted it, you wouldn't be going through this. Or if you 
listen, you wouldn't be going through this. But they got people going crazy trying to get their hands on the Switch. And GameStop seems to have a few extra on top of the pre-orders. So go out there and check that out. Like I told y'all last week, look in the description. I hunted down some things for the Switch. I got some bundles of PlayStation 4 placed in Xbox One S's. Um, system sales and accessories all down in the links in the descriptions below. Go check those out. That's basically all the news I got today. Tomorrow, I'll be back with that Horizon Zero Dawn unboxing of that beautiful statue. And yeah, y'all know I brought y'all that great review. That game is fantastic and it's a beautiful game. Go out there and get that PlayStation owners, man. Go get that. And I'll be unboxing that in tomorrow's episode and bringing you more news. That's all the news I got for you today. It's your boy, Lemetheus. And I'm out here.